Well, hello friends. Hello soul family. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading and today is Friday, fabulous Friday. January 27th of 2023. So happy Friday to all of you out there. I hope that you have all had a fantastic week and I mean, and month, I suppose. <laughs> like there's only what, like four days left of this month already. So yeah, super. I feel that the time is going like fast and slow and slow I don't know it feels like it's going fast but then it doesn't feel like it's going so fast but yeah anyways so all of my readings are intended to be timeless meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message so if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So let's get into our chakra energy. So I guess like as a little comparison, so last year I started doing these daily chakra readings. And so, in the first month, so in like January, I only had like maybe like one, one or two views like on my videos, maybe like three or four. Um, yeah, not very many. And so now this year, after I've been doing them for a year um i have uh, maybe like averaging i'll say averaging now like maybe like i'll say like between 15 and 20. it's maybe more than that but i'm gonna say like between like 15 to 20. so I think that's like a good <laughs> increase from, oh, from not having, maybe this is the card that we're meant to take, okay, um, from not having, you know, anyone to now having maybe like 20 to 30 people watch my videos, I think it's, that's a good jump, so if there's anything that you could compare from last year in January to this year in January, how would you see your growth? How would you be able to measure your growth? Or, you know, is it a mindset or whatever? So, here we go. Today our card is from the seventh chakra, card number 76. The opportunity for enlightenment is always right at the tip of my nose. <laughs> the opportunity for enlightenment is always right at the tip of my nose. So, as we were talking about any type of expansion or growth that we have experienced from last year to this year, here comes our seventh chakra our crown chakra coming out and reminding us that enlightenment is always right at the tip of our nose so I do love that and I do like it was the first card like that fell and it just knew that it wanted to be there so yeah so let's read and see what it says about that I feel that it's definitely self-explanatory but I love what the book what the book meanings are. So, 
The opportunity for enlightenment is always right at the tip of my nose, meaning we are deceiving ourselves immensely if we believe that we can only achieve enlightenment through hard energy work, disciplined meditation, or travels to, different, to distant countries, sacred sites, or holy people. This can all be very nice, but the opportunity to feel the oneness of everything and become part of it is always to be found exactly where you are at any given moment. The further away from your path that you search for it, the less likely you will come into true contact with the creative force. The challenge of material existence is to seek and find the I am, the divine spark within you, not in others. Furthermore, seeking in the outside world encourages power games, hierarchies, fears, mother, and let's do I should have had that. Mother and father. Oops, oops, here we go. Okay. Mother and father projections remaining at the level of a small child's inability and blocks the development of personally responsible action. Look now, and I mean now, exactly in front of the tip of your nose and allow yourself to become enlightened through the unification of your consciousness with the objects of your perception. The creative force is everywhere. The more you make the effort to discover it in everything that is within you and around you, the brighter it will be within you and around you. So, the healing stone is rhodochros, uh, rhodochrosite, goodness, and the Herkimer diamond, the fragrance essence is vervain, and the Bach flower is rock rose. So, I've never heard of rock rose, but that sounds kind of, kind of cute. <laughs> so, and yeah. So, basically, what this is saying is that... Enlightenment is never to be found out, like it says, like in different countries or at sacred sites or through holy people or just through like constant meditation. It's basically enlightenment is right where we are at any given moment. And we don't have to search far and wide to find enlightenment. We have to start within ourselves. So within ourselves is where the creative force is as well. And so we just have to tune into that part of ourselves. And we will start to find our own enlightenment. So... You know, it says, now look exactly in front of the tip of your nose. Like, that's basically just me looking right now at the book, you know. So, where is it? Have you been looking outside of yourself? Have you been looking outside to other people to find your enlightenment? Have you been looking somewhere else other than right within yourself to find your enlightenment because we should be looking within ourselves as above so below or as within so without you know so what can you do within your day-to-day -day, <clears throat> excuse me to find the enlightenment within yourself to find experiences or deeper meaning within yourself and within the things that are around you. That is what we are being guided to pay attention to today. So that is the message for this fantastic Friday. I hope that you all found something that you resonated with. And if you did, then please feel free to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. All of that helps to get these videos out to a larger audience, and I appreciate it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you all for stopping by my channel today. I appreciate and I love every one of you. 
and I'll see you in the next one.